to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before, the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, a mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sled full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <coughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the, head, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. <coughs> the stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good night. 